Kenna, first things first, I love you more than anything in this world. I thank the universe every day for the domino effect that brought us together. Everyone that has ever met you understands how incredibly special you are. You are the most thoughtful and caring person I have ever known. Our strengths together will help us create a long and beautiful life. Some of you may know, a couple months ago, I was lucky enough to marry Kenna's cousin, Kenton. In my preparation to officiate their wedding, I asked for a lot of marriage advice from people in their lives. A common thing that came up was, in order to truly know each other, a couple needs to experience all of these things. A big trip, all four seasons, a serious loss, sadness, anger, and success before deciding to get married. We experienced all of these while living in a 10 by 15 foot room during the pandemic in the first nine months of dating. Our love has been forged in fire and is now unbreakable. I vow to always attempt to make you laugh. I vow to be your biggest fan and best teammate. I vow to do majority of the dishes, not all, only Sith steel and absolutes. I vow to always push us to be better, to go on new adventures, and appreciate our progress along the way. I vow to protect you from all of the house spiders, no matter how small. I vow to be your safe space, happy place, and supporting face. I promise to be the best husband that I can be. I love you. <laughs> you look amazing. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. You are so out of my league, it's not even funny. Oh, shut up. I love you. I love you. Bryson, I am your biggest fan, and I love you, unconditionally and without hesitation. I remember seeing you for the first time and feeling in my gut you are someone I needed to know. And in the middle of a global pandemic, you became my most favorite person on this planet. Someone that I wanted by my side at all times. Even if that meant driving the four hours between our hometowns over and over and over again. Slowly, we created a love that felt like coming home every time we were together. You showed me that I can be loved in the way that I've always wanted to be loved. When I am with you, I don't have to be anything other than myself. And to you, I vow to love you more with every day, encourage you, trust you, and respect you. As a pair, we will create a home filled with learning, laughter, and compassion. I promise to work with you, to foster and cherish a relationship of equality, knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. I will care for you, stand beside you, and have faith in your love. I will cherish all the seemingly insignificant moments with you, because nothing is insignificant if you are by my side. Today, I choose you to be my husband, I accept you as you are, and I offer myself in return. I want to give this thing called life a good go and enjoy every moment with you. My rock, my home, my safe place. Always. I love you, Bryson Joseph Jensen. It gives me great joy to renounce you, husband and wife. Bryson, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>